Hello and welcome everyone to this video. Um, thank you so much for clicking and watching. Uh, so this video is the first in a little series that I wanted to make about how to get better at laning because that is something a lot of people ask me. How do you get better at laning against any given opponent with any given hero? So without talking too much about it, I just want to get started with the um, first most basic thing that there is really to be good at laning is getting good at last hits. So I'll just start this uh, start this up and talk about some general things. I'm gonna wait for a creep spawn anyway. So of course the best way to get better at last hitting is by practicing. A lot of people have probably heard go into a game single player and start up a game, buy no items, skill nothing, go down mid lane and try to last hit. Get as many last hits as you can. At 10 minutes you want to have 82, that's the perfect score. If you get 82 slash 82, meaning 82 denies as well as last hits, then you have to upload that replay. If you did not cheat, that's amazing. Um, of course, extremely hard to do because very often creeps will uh, go low HP at the same time. Enemy and team creeps. That's where uh, that challenge really gets extremely hard because it's not all about lasting a creep as it goes low, low HP, it's about balancing and something called creep equilibrium. Um, so that's something you may have heard of, and yes, it does make you better. But I have a few more specific things that I want to talk about, because this is a general hint, right? Anyone can take that and be like, okay, I'll do it, but that's all the... that's all there is to it, is what they understand. But if you don't really play tons of Dota, you're not gonna figure some things out on your own unless you you know, spend a lot of time doing it. So I'm gonna talk about good practices. <clears throat> I'm gonna show a few of them now as well. So it's not just about getting the last hit. Getting the last hit is of course what it's about in an actual game, but for practice purposes, why would you only care about getting last hits? Well, let me tell you why you should not only care about getting last hits, because if I really only want to last hit, I'm gonna stand like this as a ranged hero, stand really close to creeps and last hit like this. This is not realistic. This is not how your game is gonna look. As Bane, um, you know, who does this? Of course, I could get really good CS score without even having items just by standing really close like this and securing last hits much easier. So this is what I would call a bad practice. It's probably what most people would do during uh, a last hit challenge, and I know I've done it myself when I really want to get a good creep score. But in general, it's not really what you want to do. So. There are two practices that people don't mention that I think is kind of a given. And the first one is learn to last hit the enemy creep when it's the lowest possible, right? Right before it dies. That makes a lot of sense to a lot of people because if you can time your last hit to right before the creep dies, you will guarantee that you get it because you have perfect timing, right? But that's one important practice, so that's basically what I was doing here. Wait, 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 and then boom, last hit when we can. We could probably hit it sooner, but we didn't because I want to be 100% sure. However, again, this is not realistic. If you're laning against someone, you can't always wait till the last moment. What if I'm laning against a tiny? He has a really good damage. He will be able to do the same thing if I hit earlier. So... The thing that I'm saying is, learn to last hit as late as possible, but also learn to last hit as early as possible. Like, when can we kill this creep? Can we kill it now? Try? No? Okay, we can't. Can we kill it now? Okay, that was a very late attack, because we were on long range. Like, learn how early you could time a last hit, because that's very important for you. It's not only about getting the latest possible attack, it's about getting the earliest possible last hit. That is what really is going to win the lane between uh, two very even matchups, like a Windrunner versus Queen mid or something, who have very similar damage. Whoever is the best at judging the earliest possible last hit is going to win the CS score. So that's really what you want to practice. And maybe to some it goes without saying, but a lot of people don't think about this. And uh, I think it's important. So if you learn this window, between the earliest you could last hit and the latest you could possibly last hit. You have the safe window of last hitting and knowing that you will be a little bit better at realizing can I run up and secure a creep, you know, like will it be within that window when I arrive there? So if I start running now, should I get this? Nah, we don't get it. And if I'm over here, like this creep is gone already, we can try if we can run up and last hit this one. 
Uh, we have to run like now, but landing on misses, and boom, we got it. So learning like the window of possible last hit for you is useful for many things. Next, um, I already talked about the range that you want to keep as a hero. Yeah, goes without saying. If you're a range hero, try and practice your last hits from far away. You don't want to practice them, as I already mentioned, from melee range, because it's not going to happen that often. That said, though, if the enemy mid laner is missing and you're mid laning, uh, feel free to stand as close to your creeps as you feel is safe, but don't get ganked because of it and die because you're trying to stand next to a creep. You know, that's a very dumb way to die. Um, and next, you should think about every single hero being different. So it says 66 damage now on Bane, which may sound cool and all, but it's actually 63 to 69. Damage is not always static. And a good example is Chaos Knight, who has 30 damage difference from his highest to his lowest damage. I believe it's um, 39 to 69, I think, is his level of damage. Uh, could be higher, but or even lower, actually, depending on his strength. But what I'm saying is, learning the fluctuation of damage oh, is pretty exactly. important for lasting on some heroes. Because uh, you'll find they're not as, as easy as just having 66. And uh, finally, there's one more thing to mention. Mechanically on last hitting, I would say if you find yourself in a spot where damn, my opponent is always beating me, yes, either better damage or he's just better at last hitting and I can't seem to beat him, you know, like every time I go for last hit I miss uh, because he's faster, then what you should do is pull the aggro off the enemy hero. And the way you do that is you have to get up close to the creep wave and then attack your enemy hero. This is a test game and I don't have a hero to attack, but if you get close, you can pull the melee creeps back and they're gonna chase you, and then you can just repeat that process. Getting the creeps closer to you will make it easier for you to last hit because of what we talked about earlier. As a ranged hero, standing close to your creeps is a benefit. Say, if I'm standing here and the enemy hero is standing here, it's gonna be much easier for me to last hit, but he's gonna harass me for sure. Alright, that's the first video on this. I have more things to share. Um, next time I talk about this, I'm going to share some information about um, your hero, the enemy hero, and harass potential and different things like this. And uh, this is going to be the first in a, in a short series on how to get a little bit better at laning. This is not a very advanced guide, so I just want everyone to get the tools to improve more. That's basically what I'm trying to give you guys. Thank you so much for watching.